Next Saturday night, we're sending you back to the booter. Welcome back to YouTube, it's 2 to uk Been a while, been a bloody long while. Oh, we're all well. I'm back. You all think I've sodded off and left you to it, didn't you? Hey, there's a lot of happy people, and there's a lot of unhappy people. Welcome back, yes, and as you can see, it's the tail from the booter. We're booting. I suppose I better explain a little bit about what's gone on, which is not very exciting. But uh, I think it's needed nonetheless. So, yeah, I haven't, I think I did allude to this. Uh, I can't remember one of the last videos that weren't going to be doing the boots too much this, this year. Uh, and I haven't, I've only been a handful of times. Basically, and the times I have been, it's been with my mate Rob, and we've just been stalling out, selling stuff out of the garage, hopefully, um, to make way for the games room when it finally does happen. But yeah, it's stuff like the kids' bikes that they're growing out of, all this big, you know, awkward stuff like old bloody scooters and bloody old mirrors and all kinds of household shit and tat. And uh, yeah, so Rob, you know, me, uh, Rob, Rob and myself have um, just been stalling out. Not making a great deal of money, but going to the booths, having a good old fucking good morning of it anyway, nonetheless. And yeah, I say, been a handful of times. Um, I picked up some nice bits. Uh, most of it, to be honest, has been CX fodder. I've got some bits here that I've kept. So again, it's probably been three times, maybe, that we've done it. Um, not consecutively on weeks. Um, been away, went, to, well, I say away, went to see my brother, lives in Skegness, I took the kids there. Went to the car boot, seeing this guy here. So it's nice to see Gav. I uh, got a few bits from the car boot from there, but again, not, not game related and um, just stuff to fucking flip on, to be honest. Uh, what else has been going on? Um, event wise, obviously, because it's the summer, it's sort of slowed down. I know the Manchester market was on today. Um, so hopefully, everyone who went there had a good time, knows that selling did well. Uh, and that's really about it, guys. Not a lot to tell. Um, have a slow down a bit, uh, kind of, I suppose. Uh, it's just been, uh, I think just because it's been the summer, you know, and it's just a, a natural progression. Obviously less the booters, because the booters would have been the bulk of any of the uploads, uh, really. So they haven't really, like I said, they haven't happened. Hence why probably videos have been sort of slightly less. Uh, like I said, I have picked up a few bits. Stuff that's gone in from, from the booters to CEX, bits that come out that have been spat at the other end, the sausage machine which we've got down here, I'll give you show them uh yeah we'll probably have a chat at the end about upcoming events and and stuff that's going on <sighs> bloody warm today wow 34 34 degrees but no it's not baking hot not as hot as it has been fucking last weekend man that's red hot um yeah so well, i don't know if he wants me to say this but last weekend uh met up with Pete old school, Lewis Wishwash, Amanda, because my mate Rob, he had a, hosted like a little game event in his little village, kept it very low key on the, on, on the old down low, um, but we all went along, give our support and just sat in the gardens and drank beers really, to be honest, but it was good just to meet up with the guys you know, and have a good chin wag, um, so really enjoyed that and maybe, hopefully, uh, Rob might be putting some more of these events on, so I think once he's got the, 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 um, the set up uh, and the sort of venue how he wants it, then you know. Obviously, I'm pretty sure he wouldn't mind me sort of uh, shouting out, and hopefully some of you guys can come along, and make make a bit of a, a day of it or a weekend of it, depending on how far away you are. But he's just basically has all the uh, machines set up, all the consoles set up, in you know, free to play. It's basically a bit like the Play Expos with the free play machines. Um, so yeah, for a lot of us, it's probably something you've probably already seen the stuff, but it's just an excuse to meet up, really. Let's be honest, and have a good tune wagon, sink some beers or whatever you want to do. Um, so, yeah, we were booting today, we're booting back to the booter. Um, again, alright, there's nothing, is there anything I'm keeping from today? Probably not. Uh, I'll go over some of the bits I've got, again, over the last couple of times that I've been, and um, bits have come out from CEX, um, from stuff that have been bought, really. So first up, like I'd say junk man, 
I don't know if his house cleared because he was with his wife. It may have been someone else's house or whatever it was clearing out. I don't know. Um, but I had a route through one of his boxes. It had a lot of electronics. I spotted just a fucking mile off. I was like, I'm having that bastard. For two quid, got me a Sony Discman. In pretty nice condition. The only failing with it was, and that's even when it was at the time, the old battery compartment. Cleaned it all up. It's not looking too bad. Probably needs another go over. Um, but yeah, two quid. All day long. Anyway, you've seen these Walkmans, especially the Sony ones, grab them. Um, 25, 30 quid maybe, depends. Maybe more on a good day, but it owes me two quid. It owes me next to fuck all, you know what I mean? Um, off me mate Ryan. Nice to see Ryan there today. I think he did well from what some of the pictures he showed me. Very kindly basically said, I'll pick these or have them mate. Um, so really kind of Ryan, some bits for the, for the, for the shows. So Spyro, Enter the Dragonfly, Spyro, uh, Eternal Night, and a, and a, a Stitch game. So yeah, I mean, cheers, right? He didn't have to. I did offer him money for him. He said no, he refused, point black. So uh, very nice of Ryan to do that for me. Um, see the Amanda there today. See Scott, Glory Hunter as well. Nice to see Scott. There's Mrs. I always forget her name. He was on his uh, OG Xbox run. Oh, I'll show you this first. I don't even know if it fucking works. Keep charging it up. Um, grab this. Actually, it's off the same guy I got this from, so I'll show that after. Um, asked me if he had any games. He sort of said, oh, I think I've got some in here. Get, gets his box out, and it was just like, he bundled together like shit PS2 games and shit PS3 games, and won like a tenth for the bundle. There was nothing in there, and the only one that looked half decent, that, well, not even, I don't even know if it's decent, it's a PS3 game, is it Viking of Ascar or something? But I thought, no, you're alright. Um, but he did have this, and he had a PS, he had DS Lite, no charger, with a PS3 controller. I'll give the PS3 controller to my mate Rob. I've grabbed this, but it don't. No, it just it says it works. Let's see if it's. Uh... Yeah, it works. Yeah, it looks like it's it's all there. Uh, it's all there. Uh... No scratches. There you go. So yeah, mainly got it for the, the same. Mainly got it. these ain't were fucking jack diddly squat and cx now you need to chuck a charger which i've got to charge i'm trying to charge it up now um you need to chuck a charge in with it needs a style so i've probably got one of them but yeah it's mainly for the ps3 control i mean two pound fifty basically for ds Lite. if you can get it working fire it into cx we're looking at i think it's like 10 quid or something now really bad really bad trading um a lot of the items not the old school me and rob were about this earlier a lot of the old school tat you know your, uh, your staple fucking car boot fodder. <laughs> We're fucking out. We're fucking next to out now at CEX. It's remotes, stuff like Mario Kart's still nine quid. That's not too bad, I suppose. Staple backbone of any uh, car boot CEX fodder. The arse has fell out of it. I guess probably another good reason to, to probably have gone less as well. Um, but today wasn't too bad. Um, I'll show them afterwards. So from the guy that I got the DS shit from, um, I was chatting to him. He said that he had like an old-fashioned Apple Mac on there on the on the table as well. That was quite cool to see. And um, I, I got I'm just chatting shit with him. And I went back again, and I seen this on the table. I don't know how long ago, how long after he put it out when I turned it. It could have been long because I think most people would have fucking bought this if they'd seen it. I asked him how much. He said, "Make me an offer," which is a bit like. Eh. Not really my favourite thing. And um, I was like, oh, I don't know. I, just, I, mean, I ain't got a clue. And he said, well, I was looking for about a tenner. And I was like, Phew. Um, He went, but like I say, make me an offer. And I said, how oh, about seven? He went, sold. So for seven, I still think it's fucking cool as fuck. <laughs> Complete fucking anti-climax, this is. So for seven English poons, we got us an R2-D2 unit. His head's meant to turn. I think the, the motor's come off or something. Just light up. But it is. It's my mobile phone. Hello. Hello, Dave. <laughs> but yeah, it's a, it's a phone. It's a telephone. Uh, Model 805 R2-D2. It's pretty cool though, isn't it? Even as a shout, uh, my mate Ryan sort of said, oh, if you're gonna sell it, it'd, it'd be interesting because he likes his Star Wars. I don't know what I'm doing with it at the minute. 
Yeah, he's pretty cool. Yeah, I think most people would just have these as, as a shelf piece. I don't think a lot of people are going to use them as a phone. I haven't even got a landline. Fucking PPI motherfucking bastards. Insurance motherfuckers as well. Um, it's all going wrong. It's all going wrong. So, uh, yeah, seven quid. I think even as a just as a, as a as a shelf display piece for seven pounds, not bad, is it? That's all that gone. And um, this is the last of it, actually. This is the, this is the last of it. So seven. Oh, I bought other shit like some fucking sellotape and. Oh, very excited. But always, you know, stuff that's useful as, as you do at the car boot. Gaming wise, CEX fodder. Um, what did I pay for these in total? 10? 3? No, there's less than that. 7 quid. Yeah, 3, 2, and a 2. So 7 quid for all this. Whacked it into the old CEX fucking calculator. Um, it's 30 quid. So 30 quid. You know, seven quid into 30 quid credit, that'll get me a fucking game or two, won't it? You know what I mean? That's how I'm looking at it. So from one guy, uh, I think, again, I think my mate Ryan pointed these out. So again, thanks, Ryan. On the floor, I mean, he had some nice bits, actually. He had some nice, um, like, toy, toy type stuff. I think Ryan got a big box of Lego and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, load of Wii stuff. Nothing outstanding, guys, but a pound each. We sports yeah, the price has gone down on that, it's like one pound sixty. That's a couple of quid. I think that's six quid maybe. So I got all them four for, for three quid. He was like he was just doing deals, so I was like, yeah, I'll have them. Um I did feel a bit guilty about this one. When I when I like stopped and listened to myself, I thought no, nah, don't be a that'd be that's bad to do. Um so I asked this lady, have you got any game and stuff? And she's like, you know, and she sort of says, you can tell they're gonna say no, and I'm like, now I sort of say, you know. Like Wii, DS, PlayStation. Oh, got some DS stuff. So she, it's with a little daughter. So find this bag of DS. It's got DS light in it, box one. And she wants 20 quid for the whole bag. Like that DS light's fucking not worth They're worth less than... No, DSi. Sorry, DSi. It's DSi, not DS light. DSi. They're worth less than fucking DSi's. D DS lights. You can tell I ain't done this for a while. Um, and I looked through the games. And it was all like Gil games. It must have been the little Gills, obviously. Like... Disney Princess and stuff, and I think there's some value in some of them, but not enough for me to risk it. There's this one here, and I thought, I'm sure this has still got a bit of value to it, and it does. It's about four quid, I think. Uh, so pulled out old Pepper fucking Pig. Pepper fucking Pig. Dinosaur! Um, and I said, how much? She said, two pound. And I went, would you do a pound? She went, no, two pound. And she looked at the daughter, and I said, oh, well, is it for her? And she went, yeah. And I thought, do, just give it a two quid, you type bastard. So I give it to the daughter and I said, I'll oh, go and buy some sweets. And mum was like, no, 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 no. Um, but yeah, four quid. As long as double your money, you know. And then off another guy, Lewis was there. Um, he had some Xbox games. Weirdly enough, there's a, there's a chap there who, who knows one of the other fucking lizards. And he didn't... I don't think he was into games. I think he was waiting for his mate. And he must have seen me. And obviously he knows I'm into games. And he just... Very kindly, so I said, oh, some games here. I said, oh, have you finished looking? Because I'm not, you know, I'm a fucking not cunt. And he said, um, no, no, yeah, it's fine. So I looked through them all. He had some all right ones, but they were all the wrong discs was in them. Or they were, um, yeah, no, one was a copy. Um, Banjo, Kazoo, Nuts and Bolts. And it wasn't even that game, it was just some random copy. But it said a pound each. Lewis come over and um, we, I sort of gone through it. I, I picked this one up straight out because I knew there was me in this one. Skate free. Seven quid, so if you ever see Skate Free, grab it. Um, yeah, they might need to clean that. And then the other one was Minecraft. So they did have the story mode one. Very kindly, they said to me, don't get that one, there's fucking no value in it. Um, there may have been two pound in it. Yeah, that, that needs a fucking right old clean. Um, but it's like Lewis said in his last video, fucking these games, man, you've got to be really careful. Because you'll end up losing money. And again, me and Rob were talking about this when he goes to the charity shops and stuff. And you see all these Xbox 360 games and the PS3 stuff. 
because some of them are only worth 40p and you end up losing money and it, it, you know unless you're fucking nailed on or you want to stand there with your phone and look like a fucking phone wanker I just don't bother generally unless I know I just don't bother it's not even worth a risk so uh, yeah that was this week so yeah, I'll, I'll fucking fire them into CEX and get some credit the other week two weeks ago three weeks ago Hopefully I've still got a picture. I bought these. You should see the picture. I think it's like £10.50 or something. All those traded for 60 quid. Like £59.87 or something like that. 60 fucking quid for cash in it. Um, so that was really, that wasn't a bad fucking uh, uh, week that wasn't. Uh, at that week, so we're going back now. Going back in time. Um, was it the first or was it the second one? I can't believe you remember. I think it might be the second one. It doesn't matter. You ain't going to fucking know any different anyway. Um, I'd messaged Lewis a couple of weeks back. Because I've seen him. He's picked, it, he picked this up from one of the charity shop things. Um, was it a big haul he got or was it one on its own? I can't think now. But I said to him, oh, what, what are you doing with that disc? He went, well, nothing really. I said, oh, can I have it? Because I've got the box and I've been literally searching every so often to try and find uh, the disc for it. And he very kindly brought it to the car boot for me. And it is Star Wars Dark Forces. So this is the one that Lewis bought me. I only wanted the disc, but yeah, he put it in holder. And just so I'm not talking bullshit, I'm not lying, Lewis, look, there's my copy. And it is, this is in great condition, my one. But it hasn't got the disc. So now we shall reforge Two become one. Doo -doo. Yeah, so for them that don't know, it's like a, a Doom clone. It's Doom Star Wars. Essentially. So many thanks, Lewis. I'll, I'll give you that back, bruv. Get out. Right. Um, yeah, we'll leave them to laughter because they're just the. Uh, the spoils, the spoils of the car boot from that picture that I showed you. From the car boot a couple of weeks back. I managed to bag these from a. Well, I got this one first and I went back when Lewis turned up and the scene is arrival on the floor. And we were, he was, we, we were both too busy gassing and he was like, fucking hell, I miss that. It's not talking to you, that is, Stu. Um, but off the guy first, the first round, I, and ordinary, I wouldn't fucking touch this with the barge pole. But this little set here, I thought that looks different. And even Rob was impressed, and it takes a fucking lot to impress Rob. I think it's 50p. For 50p, this is football, some sort of like memory collector's card box set type thing. 50p. I've never seen anything like this before. Um, answers on the postcard down below. Looks like it's to do with the Champions League yeah, in the Euros 2000. So, yeah. 50p. 50p. Um, and the one I think I paid two quid. Two or three quid for this. I can't remember. Something like that. Uh, a really nice uh, boxed time crisis. G-Con. The only thing letting this down slightly, it's just a crack. So it's all there. Uh, just needs a case swap because it's a big dirty old fucking crack down it. But uh, I think I'm sure it's three quid. I want to say three quid, so I'm going to say three quid. I think it must have been the first or second, I can't remember. Whichever one it was, Lewis was not happy, bless him. He's had to run of the car boot all, all fucking summer. He's had free reign. Um, so yeah, I don't think he was too impressed with me. Me and Rob rolled up. Started ruining the party, bless him. But last week, because I say I was at Rob's thing, um, and obviously he had a, a weekend of it anyway, I sort of said, look, you've got, you got next week to yourself, no, tomorrow to yourself, but this week we were back there. Right, that is it for the car boots. Ah, it's not a great deal fucking doing, to be honest. Um, so odds and sods, like I say, some spoils 
uh, off from the from the car boot, spoils of war from the car boot. A um, couple of purchases from Facebook, from Facebook groups. We'll do them first, actually, and then I'll do the spoils. Because so basically, CX, CX fodder, not CX fodder, CX um, purchases with the fodder. Um, so from Facebook, from me, uh, we follow admin Lee Thornley. Um, because this will segue into the second item. What did he have? He was selling, he's, he was doing a raffle, he was doing a Saturn raffle, or was it a sale post? I can't remember. And he, because basically, we put pictures up and say, Look, how much do you think? What's the reasonable value? And everyone can contribute and sort of come to a reasonable price, so it's not a fucking stupid rip off price. And anyway, he had a couple of these discs, uh, and the ones he had, I actually went back and checked because I got some off Eddie. So I've ah, got them, mate. I said, but if you ever dig any others out, let me know. And it, I mean, Lee's had a fucking massive, massive haul, like fucking eight vans worth of stuff. So he's obviously going through all this. And anyway, very kindly, so I said, oh, I found these, do these any good to you? So we come to an agreement. I think he did me a right. It's like two pound a disc, yeah, and a couple of quid posted. I was fucking more than happy with that. And they're basically Saturn demos. So Saturn Power number one, Saturn Power number two. Saturn Power 5, Sega Flash Volume 3, and Sega Flash Volume 4. Now, one or two of them I've got, that got them off Eddie, but I think the, the discs weren't the best. I mean, they weren't terrible, but they weren't the best. Um, so I thought, you know what, just chuck them in the same thing. Because what I'm gonna do with these is, goes to the next item here, from Ben Boyd, his Galaxy Sega, I mean he's, he's on the RAM as well, but he's many Galaxy Sega, he's had been on the Galaxy Sega, and he does these customs, custom sleeves and stuff like that, and they're, they're fantastic, and I've got this fucking, phew, crikey O'Reilly, it's got to be a month ago, if not longer, maybe even longer than that, uh, it's a Christmas Nights into Dreams, so basically this never got a big box release, but Ben is basically a genius, for want of a better word, and he creates these with a manual as well. So ordinarily, your knights just come in that little sleeve because it come with um, one of the Sega magazines. But he creates a custom one, so I just, I just put, keep that in there. But what he doesn't supply you is with the, with the case. I do need to probably upgrade this one again. Got a few dinks in it, but yeah, quite nice. Again, just a satin curio. But what he has got, and what I've bought, and it's on, they're on the way in the post, is he does like these um, the sleeves and stuff for the demos, for the Saturn demos and the Mega CD demo. So I'm getting two slots of Saturn ones and the Mega CD one. And again, similar thing with the Mega CD, you've got all the demo discs and you can put them all into like a single holder, like a nice little display piece, really, is what it is. Oh, God, my nose. So that's that. Again, um, I wouldn't sort of say Ben has got like shit tons of this stuff in stock. He just tends to do runs every so often. So I think he like he's printed ten of each of the um, Saturn demo packs and stuff like that. The Dreamcast one as well. The Dreamcast demos. Get that. Hop over to Galaxy Sega. I'm sure if you if you ask the question or do a bit of a quick search, you'll find him on there. Staring down the barrel of a camera. I think it's got to rain. Mm. Tell you what I have done, been doing as well, before I get into these other pickups. Um, at the car boot a couple of weeks back, there was a chap there, um, probably a little bit younger than me, with his missus and his mate, or it might be his brother, I can't remember. And I said, oh, have you got any gaming stuff? And the old stuff. He went, well, actually, I've got some Mega Drive stuff. So my eyes fucking lit up. <laughs> And he goes, but I have priced them. He goes, not, not as expensive as eBay. I'm thinking, oh, fucking hell, here we go. And he, anyway, he finds this box of games. And in this box of games, it's like fucking FIFA. It, it, it's nothing amazing. But the one game, right, and this is fucking so fortuitous. One of the games I'm missing the manual for, and I needed sort of an upgrade, other than the big hitters, uh, was, was a game called Gunship. Not very expensive, right? I, I should have bought one from World of Books. For seven quid, you know, you buy it blind. You don't see any, any pictures or anything like that. But usually when they say very good, it is very good. 
Uh, I knew I'm there for too long and someone else bought it. So I was kicking myself like seven quid. So I get to, I say, that's this guy here. And fucking lo and behold, he pulls out a gunship um, with the manual. He wants four quid for it. I went, there you go, done. Because mine had a little bit of a tear in the, the front insert and had no manual. So I thought, well, four quid, there we go. And the other one I'm looking at it now was Star Control. Again, mine was missing the manual. So I bought a, a box on eBay. So, I, yeah, the box I've got there ain't that bad. So I hopefully, I think CX will give me 20 quid credit. So essentially the manuals will cost me seven pounds. I would have paid seven pounds for the two manuals in staff control. So ain't that bad. Yeah, it's just stuff like that, guys. Not really anything fantastic to shout about, but you know, just improving the collection here and there and everywhere, you know, upgrades, upgrades on some PS1 titles, etc., etc. Talking of PS1, from good old CX. Um, oh, they got here. Inspired, inspired by Console Tronics Grey. He did a. It's not a gameplay. He, he does these like little mini. I don't know if they're the reviews like expos. Not even exposes. I can't think of the best word to describe it. Like highlights. I don't know. He basically shows a game. He talks about it, but it's only for like five minutes so he doesn't really review it or anything like that. I don't know any great depth but he just talks about and around the game um, and he mentioned this one this kills two birds with one stone as well so I was like that looks fucking cool I'm, I'm getting me a copy of that so again I can't remember I had some CEX credit from some fucking where I thought going boxed we're going boxed on this motherfucker turns up and it's it's fantastic I mean other than the front having a bit of a scuff which does not bother me if I was that, if that first about it, I'll just swap it for a back of a CD jewel case and have a nice shiny one. But it is called Kudalka, Kudalka, Kudalka by SNK. It's basically, it's like an action RPG. Um, what did he look? Oh shit, it's been that long since I fucking watched the video and since I bought this. It's either a prequel or a sequel to another game. I can't remember what he fucking says. I should have watched, paid more attention, Grey, sorry. But it's in fan, it is in really nice condition from CEX. This is three discs. Um, £18, I think. But it is it fulfills one of the other little side things. It's fucking Eddie Rollercore's got me on. These, these double box fucking PlayStation games. By the way, go and check out Grey's channel, Console Tronics. Um, if I can be bothered and if I've got the wearable. I might even put a little clip of one of his videos in there. He's definitely got a voice for radio um, but a fantastic watch, really knowledgeable guy. Um, I, I love his videos. An Englishman, an Irishman and a blonde Welsh bird walk into a monastery might sound like the opening of a rather rude joke but it is in fact what caught my eye when checking out this UK PAL release of a Japanese RPG I had never heard of. But as someone who likes surprises, I took a chance on it. But did my gamble pay off, or were my finely tuned gaming instincts, which I'd honed from 8-bit micros to 16-bit consoles, thrown off by the promise of some polygon panty flashing? Um, but yeah, so Kudalka, fucking hell. Kudalka. Brought to you from the wonderful people at CEX. Mm. Sticking with CEX. I don't know why I bought this. There's a reason why I bought this. It was to get another game or get something from another store to try and tie it in. Um, and I can't think what it was. Uh, Hugo 2. An absolutely nothingness game. It really is just box. It's not like fucking £2.50, but in fantastic condition. I remember Hugo. Now, those of us that are old motherfuckers will, will remember Hugo on the Amiga um, and how that come about was the mate John, I was just talking about John and he, he's got his little copier, bloke. he was a bloke called Roy uh, and I'm sure Hugo is a German game, I'm sure that's where it originated from on the old Amiga, Hugo was on the Amiga but it used to be the TV, in a kids TV show and you used to be able to play the game like over the phone and stuff Someone else was on about over the phone games. It might have been Shock 16. Um, 
but Hugo is definitely one of those. And then I say with my mate, my mate John and Violet's guy Roy, he had bought a load, he used to bring boxes of copy games from John would buy the discs or swap them for originals and stuff like that. Um, and obviously Hugo is one of these games and on, at the top, on, on the Amiga, <coughs> the graphics look like you were playing a cartoon. Absolutely shit fucking gameplay. But the, the visuals were absolutely outstanding. Um, so that's how I remember Hugo and say it, it did appear on a kids TV show as a game. And I can't remember why I bought that, but I bought that to, because that was a game that wasn't in another store that I didn't want the, the other copy to come from. I can't think what it was now, it's been fucking weeks. So, yeah, just that's it. From some more credit I had from somewhere, and I, don't, I can't think, um, maybe some car boot fodder that I took pictures of that I haven't got anymore. Um, this one was only cheap, I think. Again, it's only a couple of quid. It does, it, it's not complete, it, it's missing the insert. But I thought for a couple of quid, I'll keep it. I can also upgrade it later. Terracon. The PS1, it looks very similar to um, what's the PS2 one? Destroy All Humans. Fuck me, man. Again, it's a couple of quid, but it's missing the inserts. Go for it, can't stay like. Got a bit of scrawling written on it, but yeah, I'll wait. Yeah, I'll fire. See if something, something pops up. Um, this one, yeah, happy with these two actually. Uh, see, all I do with CX, especially on the PS1 stuff, if it's something that I've never seen before, and are all, again, this, and this goes for most things that are on there, if there's only ever one in stock, you can usually guarantee it. it's not least really rare, but it's it's probably a bit more sought after than, than it usually is. Um, so, this was one of them, I just thought, you know what, I think it's like a tenner. What a fucking have this. It's come through in fantastic condition. There is another copy of this on CX at the minute. Uh, the City of Lost Children. It look, it's some sort of 3D. Looks like Alone in the Dark, like the original Alone in the Dark. Uh, puzzle packed adventure classic. No, I know nothing about it at all, but I thought, you know what? It's something I ain't seen before. Psygnosis game, number 170, so pretty early on, uh, somewhere, in one of them weird cases as well, so I think that was a tenner, and then to fulfil another part of the sort of double box things from CEX, again, it weren't very expensive, uh, Nova Storm. Dual CD case. Uh, if you are looking to get this, it is two. It is a two disker. So please beware. Buyer beware. Buyer beware. So yeah, some more right little fucking additions there. You know, say so nothing. Not nothing mad. Um, you know, I went a bit fucking half a level on the Mega Drive set. So I think I was probably due a bit of a bit of a breather. Let's be honest. And. Um, yeah, I quite enjoyed it. Yeah, I, I have a missed. I love. I do love the booter. It's like Robert's saying. Sometimes you just he, even if you don't really pick a great deal up, it's always nice just to have a wander around. And I always have the crack, especially with other, other people selling and stuff. And it's always nice when you see the lads. So it always, yeah, it ended up being a good morning, really. Right. Lastly. CX one here. I still think this is quite good. I was saying to Rob here, oh, I did all right there, and the more of a, the more I've thought about it, I'm not as sure. Um, but I think it's all right. So you see in the early that picture of that pile of stuff. I think it comes to like 58 quid or something like that. I may have spent a tenner out of it. I can't think now. No, I couldn't have. It was must have been still only 60 quid. Um, so I had that as, as the credit. I was in CEX, I can't remember, I was taking some back for some other reason. And uh, sort of behind on the shelf, I saw this. 120 quid. I thought, oh, bloody hell. Yeah. I remember years and years and years ago, I seen this at the car boot, some guy wanted 
20 quid for it. Well, I won't pay probably 20 quid for a GameCube. Give it away, it's a GameCube. And um, unbeknownst to me, it's probably one of the fucking more sought after ones. Okay, years ago. Always kicked myself for that. And um, anyway, so this one's on the shelf, 120 quid. Because uh, I know the manager there, so I was chatting to him as, as he's doing my refund, and I sort of say to him, "Oh, he's got, he's got the inserts." Oh yeah, yeah, it has to, yeah, because otherwise it wouldn't be boxed; it'd be unboxed with no, with no inserts. I was like, "All right." And um, the other, the assistant manager, I, I know him, and he was like, "We just stopped," and then the manager went, and he, the other guy then reached up, gets this box down, opens it up, and his like face has dropped a little bit, and the manager's like. I can tell he fucking weren't happy at all. And I was like, they're not in there, are they? And he was like, no. And the manager's face was like, for fuck's sake. So he sent this other guy up to the office just to sort of see if they're there, which is not going to be there, let's be honest. And I said to him, so how much is it if it's if it's unboxed? And he went, 80 quid. So they've lost, you know, fucking 40 quid here. Um, so we're waiting around for this other chap to come back downstairs and I'm thinking he ain't gonna fucking that. Ain't, they ain't up there, they're not up there, the inserts aren't up there. I'm sure it's eggs is eggs, they ain't up there. Look at my bloody hair. So he comes back down anyway and I sort of said to him, said to eight, he goes, let, let me just reprice it up. Um, so I had this 60 quid, so basically I paid like 24 quid or something for it, for this, in cash. I thought, it's gotta be worth it, even if it's fucking loose it's probably be worth it. At like 24 quid. Uh, I suppose it's not, it's like 34 quid for you. The £10 that I paid, the £10 that I paid at the car boot for the fodder that made me 60 quid plus the 24 so £34 for a boxed Resident Evil. That is a fucking bastard. But again, you know, outside of that, it's not bad, it hasn't got any inserts. At some point, in my life, when I get to the garage, I must have a boxed GameCube. So I'm just going to steal the fucking tray out of it. Out of like an indigo one or a black one. Because, yeah, fuck them. Um, yeah, it's got, oh, yeah, the controller's all right. Now, why I was on an R in, and I sort of said, oh, I'm not sure if, I sort of double check myself if it was actually worth it. It's that little CX look. And CX there, look. So I'm not talking complete bollocks. I'm not making stuff up and saying, oh yeah, I bought the CX and I didn't, I bought it online. Um, the reason why I was sort of running around a little bit, because the more I thought about it is, especially with this, I'm not sure, and I've got something in the back of my head that says, there's like um, a demo or something that's meant to come with this. I think, I think there's no paperwork either. So it's not 100% complete in that respect. I mean, the paperwork, again, I, could probably, I don't think it's anything unique to the Resident Evil one. It's probably just the usual pamphlets and shit that come with all the others. Um, it has got a few, which you're gonna, gonna get with these, because of the silver color. Um, but yeah, can't really be out too much, to be honest. Um, but yeah, anybody knows, I mean I could probably Google it, there's no fucking fun in Googling, is it all the time? Google, Google, Google! Um, yeah, anybody knows for definite, did this come with like some sort of, I've got a feeling it come with like a Resident Evil demo. But, I say, in terms of cash, cash, cash payer, £24, I didn't think that was too bad. Yeah, if I've been at the fucking car boot and someone said, no, not, yeah, 24 cash or, or all in, £34, like I say, if, if you if you add in the £10 I spent on either games to, to generate the 60 quid. Um, less that fucking dirty great rip, which basically isn't, it's where there's been a seal look and someone's ripped the seal and it's ripped across it because they're fucking stupid. Um, but yeah. I've got another 30 quid there built up and I've so got some more fucking money to I can go and fucking spunk away and waste and CX online. Um, I think that was all I was going to talk about. Events. Events, what we've, what we've got coming up in the future. Um, 5th, 5th of next month, October. I won't be stalling out. 
but I know there's a few lads, Rob and Pete are old school, Holster is, uh, Lewis is Wish Wash in Nottingham, um, good friend and doesn't make YouTube videos anymore sadly, Matt Soulfunk Retro along with uh, Steve Smith who does like the Leeds ones, um, Matt's obviously roped in Steve to help with the organisation and it's like a retro games fair thing that's in Nottingham. So Rob's, Rob and Pete be storing that. I'll be going there fucking loitering with intent, uh, giving Rob and, and and Pete and, or, or not as the case may be. Uh, I say Holst has got a table, Lewis has got a table. Uh, I'm not sure if Dane's got a table, but it'd be like most of the usual faces and probably some new faces. So that's on the 5th, that's next month. The week after that, on the 12th, I'm sure it's the 12th, is uh, Blackpool. Play Expo Blackpool, so really looking forward to that. Be nice to fucking get away for, for a couple of days. Um, hopefully, I'll make a video again sooner rather than later. I won't leave it as long next time, but it's all about having something to say or not to say. Um, and because of the way the weather's been, you know, you guys know that have watched me for long enough. In here, it is that's why I call it the blast furnace, and it, it can get really uncomfortable. Um, it's not too bad now, it's dropped 35 degrees. But you know, especially like last week and stuff, you don't want to be sitting in here with the door shut, having to wear fucking clothes. Because let's face it, I sit here naked most of the time. That's why I've got an all over tan. Everyone keeps asking me, how come you've got a good tan? Uh, it's because I sit in the fucking greenhouse, start bollock naked most of the time. <laughs> fucking Drinking beer. Um, yeah, and it's not conducive with making videos. It's doable, and I've done it, well, you know, I've done it in the past. But when there's less to talk about, there's less to get excited about, it's harder to do. Uh, and again, that, that's contributed to me sort of making less videos, no doubt about it. Or as Jay would say, no two ways about it. That's his favourite saying. Watch Jay Cybersnake, any of his videos where he talks about something, there's no two ways about it. He always, that's his favourite, you know, I'll make a t shirt of that, there's no two ways about it. Cybersnake7 is the number one channel on YouTube. There's no two ways about it. Um, that's, I think that's it. There's no there's no um, Doncaster at Christmas this year, so pff, be a void. There's a void there at some point, but uh, I think that's not a bad thing. I think cause, um, the Doncaster was getting saturated too much, uh, especially as a seller. You realise it, you noticed it, fingers weren't shifting, so, um, but yeah. So hopefully I'll be back again sooner rather than later. Just depends what happens and you know if there's something worth worth nattering about. It, it'll be on that first of September now, so hopefully it will start to cool down a little bit as, as well. So that might be that might help me, might sort of encourage me a bit more to make other videos. Yeah, I might do something different. I might do a gameplay video. I might play some. Up. Yeah, no, that ain't gonna happen, is it? Fuck off. Right, take it easy, YouTube, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.